ورسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول كل بدعة ضلالة So the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to take this day as a day of celebration. This is your Eid, he used to say. This is your Eid, so eat and drink. It is a day of eating and drinking and rejoicing. It is a day of takbir and tasbih. It is a day of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a day also when you give the zakatul fitr, that you feed the poor with that. So you remember those. Because you give that to the poor before they eat prayer so they may benefit from it. So you remember the poor upon that day. It is not a day, my brothers and sisters, a day of sin, a day of transgression, a day of forgetting Allah. And you see many of those people who fasted the month of Ramadan. They prayed their night prayer and they worshipped Allah. They recited the book of Allah in the day and they stood in the night. And they cried for their Lord. They will take this day of Eid as a day of celebration to visit their families, to be with their parents, to be with their children. They will not miss the prayers. And nor will they forget their Lord. And many of those people you'll find who did not pray in the month of Ramadan and they did not worship Allah as Allah deserves to be worshipped. Nor did they give credence to this day, to these days and nights in the month of Ramadan. They did not stand with the Imam. They did not stand in Qiyamul Layl. They did not pay attention to Laylatul Qadr. And they were foul-mouthed and they engaged in lewd speech. And they would fill their ears with music instead of the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Eid comes upon them, you notice they wake up in the morning and they will remove their beards. And they will shave their faces. And their women folk will come out with perfume. And they will not wear the hijab because Ramadan didn't mean anything to them. And Eid for them is nothing but a day of frolics and a day of nothing more than vain speech and more music and more sin and more transgression and the abandonment of the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You did not see them in the masajid. You did not see them in the gatherings of the people of khair and the people of good. They did not give sadaqah in this month. So what is Eid for them? Eid is nothing for them except mere enjoyment as the rest of their days and nights. So upon them is to wait because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring his threats upon you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring your accounting for you. So repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Repent to Allah jalla wa ala. And do not forget your duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was not watching you in your days and your nights? Do you think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not record your deeds? Do you think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will allow your sins to be taken, that that you will continue with your sins day in and day out, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not call you to account? As for you, my brothers and sisters who worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as for those of you who recited the Qur'an, As for those of you who called upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala morning and evening. As for those of you who made dhikr of Allah. Then for you my brothers and sisters is to continue. Worship your Lord up until there comes to you death. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remember him often. My brothers and my sisters. Yes Eid is is a day of joy and happiness. My sisters do not come out of your houses perfumed. My sisters, do not come out of your houses in high heels. My sisters, do not come out of your houses with your hair showing. My sisters, do not come out of your houses with camel humps on the top of your heads. For the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, forbade that for the women folk. For it is from the signs of the hour. And it is from those affairs that anger our Lord, the beautification of women who walk the streets. And they are beautified. And they sent themselves. For indeed that beautification is a beautification from shaitan. And Allah's messenger, Allah, Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forbade that for you. And that is an affair that angers your Lord. My brothers, when you come out on Yawm Eid, keep your garments above your ankles. And keep your beards flowing. For indeed the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, That that which is below the ankle bone is in the hellfire. 
Any garment that flows below the ankle bone for the men is in the hellfire. That is a punishment, a major sin. Do not take these affairs lightly. One of the companions of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that I was walking in one of the streets of Medina and behold that I heard behind me some footsteps and I was wearing upon my shoulder my burda and the burda, the, the cloak was long and he was draping and he was dragging upon the floor behind me and the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said raise your garment he said that I heard the voice behind me say Raise your garment. So I turned to look to who it was. And as I scrutinized, I saw it was the messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, commanding me to raise my garment. I said to him, Ya Rasulullah, this garment, I don't care for it, whether it gets dirty or not. The messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to me, he said, وَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا Indeed, in the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you have a fine example. He said, then I scrutinized the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam further. I looked at him from the top of his body to the, to, 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 all the way down to the bottom of his being, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I saw that his garment was above his ankles at the middle of his shins. So he raised his garment, that companion. My brothers and sisters, you may regard this to be a light affair. Many of you fathers fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mothers fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you allow your children to walk the streets with their garments flowing below their ankles and they are adults. Your 15 year old sons, your 16 year old sons, that you allow them to walk the streets and you regard it to be nothing. You regard the burning of the feet in the hellfire to be nothing. And the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that the feet of Abu Talib will burn in the hellfire. In a narration, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and he will consider himself to be the most severely punished in the hellfire. And the only thing that will be burning will be his feet. Below his ankles, he'll be wearing footwear, or he'll be wearing sandals made out of fire. And because of that, his brain will be boiling. And he will consider himself to be the most severely punished, though he will not be the severely punished one. And you regard it to be nothing. You regard it to be nothing. You regard the shaving of the beard to be nothing. And you regard other things to be more important. You want to partake in the celebrations of Eid. But you do not want to be dutiful to Allah. You want all the joys and the happiness of Eid. And you want the blessings of Eid. And then you want to fill your ears with music. You want the joys and the happiness of Eid. Yet your tongue is dry. And your heart is dead because you don't remember Allah. This is not the way of the Muslim. This is not what Allah has commanded you with. So fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear Allah with regard to your women folk. Fear Allah with regard to your children. Fear Allah with regard to your duties. It upsets us. It upsets us that we see our brothers who have been with us for 20 years, 15 years, and they pay no attention to their children, and they pay no attention to their women folk, that they don't advise their children, and they don't advise their daughters, and they don't advise their wives, and the mothers, who do not care, and don't pay attention to these affairs, do you not fear Allah? Do you not fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How do you wish to be raised on Yawm Al-Qiyamah? How do you wish to be questioned on Yawm Al-Qiyamah with regard to your children? With regard to your family folk? Pay attention my brothers and sisters. Yawm Al-Eid is a day of happiness and joy. It is not a day of sin. It is not a day of transgression. Visit your mother. Visit your father. Spread gifts amongst your family members. But do not be disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala maintain us upon righteousness and piety throughout the days and nights of the whole of the year. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from being Muslims who are just pious in the month of Ramadan and sinful for 11 months of the year. May Allah protect us and protect our families, guide us and guide our families.